Look at those teeth. How are they shaped? How would those teeth pierce through flesh? Look at those jaws. How do those arms operate? How deeply could those claws penetrate? What we do know about Spinosaurus is that it was weird and it was big. The story of Spinosaurus begins here, in the Sahara Desert in Egypt. Between 1909 and 1914, German paleontologist Ernst Strummer unearthed the first and only fossil bones of Spinosaurus. Strummer brought the fossils back to the Bavarian Museum of Natural History in Munich, and the world got its first indication of just what this unusual animal looked like. This is a photograph of the actual type specimen of Spinosaurus aegyptiacus, which was mounted on the wall in the museum in Munich. This is what puts the spine in Spinosaurus. You can see the dorsal vertebra here with these amazing dorsal spines sticking up. This one here is 1.65 meters, so five and a half, almost six feet. This is this long crocodilian-like jaw here. Really an amazing skeleton, and this is the one and only Spinosaurus skeleton that has ever existed. But the skeleton didn't last long. Human history collided with prehistory. During World War II, Allied bombers conducted long-range bombing missions over key installations across Germany. Sadly, the Bavarian Museum was across the street from the Nazi Party headquarters. And on April 27th, in 1944, the Allied forces bombed Munich and collateral damage destroyed the museum. The Spinosaurus skeleton was smashed to dust. What had survived for 95 million years was vaporized in the fog of war. Since there are only a few bits and pieces known from the original Spinosaurus, it's pretty difficult to put it together. What we need is a link. What we need is something to tie those pieces together. The few photographs of this amazing discovery have inspired our team. They provide a foundation that allows us to resurrect a monster. 